let's talk about other things. It's not merely seeing reality, it is touching the truth. Outer Banks is a show about four teenagers search for treasure and finishing with the main characters that couldn't finish. And uh, it's a pretty good show. <laughs> Let me just say, Kira, they got this group. Uh, it's four teenagers. Kira, the rich, cool girl. Pope, the smart guy that is basically the nerd of the group. What is the brains of the operation? JJ, the funny guy, troublemaker. And John B, the overall main character. And another rich girl, uh, Sarah, who turns out actually cool at the end of the series but i'm gonna try to keep the spoilers at at a minimum maybe i'm not you know it's, it's, i'm going back and forth but so the first thing about outer banks is the fact that this cast bro this cast not only are they attractive yes for the guys too you know i'm just playing i'm just playing, I'm just playing. pause 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 you're gay you're he's gay i'm not gay Last acting is just superb. Like, you would think they would they were friends before they shot this whole series, but I mean, you know, with the side notes and the jokes, and the jokes are actually good. Sometimes the show can be really, really funny at times, and uh, the side notes, the uh, it, it seems like you're actually hanging out with your friends when you're watching them instead of you know, forcing situations and plots and, and friendships like some shows. But, um, yeah, the acting is superb. Scenes where they're, act they're mad at each other and sad. You could actually feel that. And it was this one scene where basically Kiera and uh, JJ shared and JJ was crying, bro. You know what, bro? Fuck, fuck the spoilers. Fuck the... Bro, we... we this is spoiler. This is spoiler. Spoiler review, bro. Spoiler, spoiler tag on this bitch right now. Spoiler, 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 spoiler. The moment I was talking about was JJ when JJ was crying in the um the hot tub, bro. Bro. And Kiera just hugged and then Pope came right behind. Bro. Uh coming down uh, the twist and turns of this story, another thing, bro. I mean, today it seems like you can't have a teen Netflix with the show without like a killing mystery behind it but the story of big john and big john is uh john b's father by the way but the story that unravels in the show is bro it's crazy and unexpected moments that will have your uh moments in the show will have your mouth drop and since we're spoiler right now we're, we're doing spoilers right now look peterkins Top, it beats out one of the best mo unexpected moments except for finding out ward was actually like the killer i guess you can put peter games in front of that i don't know yeah yeah i'll put i'll put ward in front of in front of peter kids because finding out he was the killer was was unexpected too i thought he was just a, a cool ass guy but in outer banks the group has one goal and that is to find the treasure but when you start watching you realize these characters have a lot more on their plate uh, for an example, Pope really wants to get into college, which has every minute of the show. He's like, he doesn't want to do this. He doesn't want to do this. Please don't lose my scholarship. Every single episode is him saying he doesn't want to do this for to lose his scholarship. Like, bro, JJ has his own problems. Uh, he has an abusive dad. Okay, let me just say something. Before this, before I started watching, not before I started watching, but like episode two, three, I hated JJ. I hated JJ it looks like he was gonna just get himself killed with along with the group but he comes home to it and he just says like he just says fuck it I'm gonna just have the best live my best life it makes his friends laugh bro you gotta appreciate a person like that bro that puts his that puts his stuff aside for for his friends you know and he's been a fight he was fighting for his friends every bro it did not to mention that he took up for Pope JJ, one of the best characters in the show. Flat out, bro. Come on now. Come on. Now, Kiera has a problem with Sierra as they were friends one time. And Sierra just vanished one day and ghosted her. Me, personally, um, I would have liked their... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Me, personally, I would have liked to see their friendship take longer to fix on the boat. It seems like they just... 
just flipped the switch and was like, all right, man, we cool, bro. We, we the best of friends. I don't know. Maybe it's just because, like, they did, like, they, they were going to work it out. Like, they, they did say they were going to work it out, but it seems like right after they just started acting super, super nice together. It would have, I would have liked, like, a, not a sacrifice scene, but, like, to make them realize, like, oh, okay, so you're not that bad after all, and you're still the friend. We, you're still the friend I knew when we were actually friends. But I don't know, maybe it's just me. Uh, these ships, oh God, these, these ships will 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 mess with your head, bro. These ships will mess with your head, bro. Cause the first ship I thought was actually gonna happen was John B and Kiera. Cause John B and Kiera. They were you could you could tell they was on something, bro. They could tell they was on something, but when John B. met Sierra, I was like, oh, it's it's done game, bro. It's done game, bro. It's it's over. It's over. It's over for Kiera and John B. Cause Sierra and John B instantly clicked. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But um But my favorite ship on this show might have to be Pope and Kier. I'm just playing. No, hell no. Uh, my favorite ship on the show might have to be Sierra and John B. Isn't that that really is the only ship on the show if you count out Pope and uh, Kiera, which is which is a bad ship. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. For for anybody that's like you know, for anybody that thinks Kiera and and Pope is a is a good is a good couple. You. you I'm sorry, but that, that, Kira is basically dating this man out of pity, bro, out of pity, that, JJ and Kira, I'd rather have that happen, first of all, right off the bat, JJ and Kira, and that shit doesn't even exist, it wouldn't be forced out of pity like Kira and Pope, but there's still hope for me, guys, because she didn't directly say she liked him, right, I mean, before John B fell in love with Sarah, Kira was basically playing games with this, with this boy, bro, playing games with uh, John B. I mean, and she told Pope to his face that she's not into him. So in season two, maybe she just says, it was just a kiss to get the old Pope back, you know? And Pope didn't notice he's been played by the same girl twice. Uh, she also said she wants something different when she was talking to Pope. So maybe JJ is the different. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, um... I do know I'm taking too much uh, time on this, so uh, the the last reason why I think this show is great, bro. The villains, bro. The villains. The villains of this show. I mean, to leave it off to a point, the the writers to leave it off to a point to where there's still it's still anybody's game to get the gold, and we're still satisfied is a win by itself i mean war can go back to the bahamas in season two thinking they're dead and the gold will be gone i mean but it's still going to be surprising it's still going to be surprising of how ward takes his daughter's death because they all think they got body right so i don't i don't know what ward will do at the end of the day because he was he was worried he was worried about his daughter in that one scene where he was talking to his wife but um I don't know I, there's also so many things that need to be figured out like this wasn't this wasn't the happy happy ending you always get from shows or at least from like shows i mean like the rest like some shows like because some shows you definitely don't get happy endings in movies like parasite and uh that's really the only movie i could think of that doesn't have a, a bad that doesn't have a good ending you guys, you guys can like, you know, you guys can think of your, your shows that don't have good endings. At least season one, you know. Um, there's also so many things that need to be figured out. Yeah, another thing that needs to be figured out. I mean, the rest of the gang thinks Sarah and John Beat all got body. So it's going to be cool to see how they take care of it or how they deal with it. Um, so there's one fact that, oh, there's one theory that Peter can never got announced dead. I've heard some of you fans uh of outer banks some of you fans of outer banks say that she's still alive but like my opinion bro sorry to tell you bro but like 
She got body, my nigga. She got body, bro. She is done for, like, she got a shot in the back. And then you put that in Ward's hands? You really think Ward is going to be it? Come on, now. No way she lived through that. Ward probably hit a few speed bumps on the way by. Bro, come on. Come on, Ward drove there. You guys forget that Ward and the cop drove there. So, and the cop, when they was doing it, he was like, bro, they're, she's dead, bro. She's dead. And Ward was like, I know, bro. I know. I mean, so if anyone is going to have to save John B and make the big arrest that Peterkins uh, got killed by uh, Rafe and, um, and Ward is actually the big, the killer of John B. Uh's dad, Big John, is going to be Peter Gunn's partner. But what is the chance of that happening? You know, uh, I I still have no idea how John B. is going to get back to the point where he was, like the point of innocence. You know, because if you think about it, there's still a lot to go down. Um, uh, and we still have uh, Peterkin's partner, by the way. I don't know his name. Uh, I'll just put up a picture. But we still have a murderer on the loose. Uh, Rafe and the other dude on the loose. I forgot the other dude's name. But the dude that just gets beat up by JJ the whole series. That that dude. I mean, he got he also got his ass beat by... Um, what's, his, what's his name? What's his name? Oh, he also got beat up by Ward, too. So, I mean, it's just so much that they left out. But I still feel satisfied with how it ended. And the season two isn't coming out until, like, late 2021. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because of the, you know, the, <coughs> you know. So, uh, I mean, it's just so much that they left out. Not left out, but it's so much that they... I don't want to say left out, because it still could be soft. It's, it's season two is confirming everything, you know? But um, how it ended, that's, that's literally how I would want to end my first season of a show. Outer Banks, if, if I had to give it a rating this season, I'm going to say a clean 8 out of 10 that bro marvelous bro marvelous acting superb characters superb development superb 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 bro i can't wait for season two i don't know about y'all but that is my review that is us talking about uh outer banks that's my that's let's let's con let's have a convo about it hope you enjoyed this convo my name is I King Skies, and I'm about to shot I'm about to make a, I'm about to make another video. Peace. But what do you do when there's no place to turn? I have